Pittsburgh has been totally wiped out by the monsters. Since it's a long, deserted place, they passed on by Kalashan. We must be inside before sunset. They are nocturnal monsters that crawl out only in the night. How do you know such things? It's a wisdom of the tower. What tower? Inside. Thanks to them, we may move unhindered. Good fellow Gerald, I think. What a pity. He wanted to kill me. They're funny when they get mad. Let's go. As you command. We're almost there. Wait. I need that human, Gerald. For what? Orc food? Capture him alive. I need him to destroy Encablosa. You said that name before. What is Encablosa? I'll explain after we capture Gerald. Move. Leinhardt, where is Gerald now? He's right about here. Our force is positioned here. I strongly recommend that you speak to Gerald in person, my lord. He won't listen to me. Very well. I just hope he isn't stupid enough to refuse the rescue. Hello everyone, this is DE235, providing commentary for Let's Play Kingdom of the the Crusaders Ragnar's Campaign. And now, we must rescue Gerald from the Enclablosa. Yep. Yep, so in the last episode, the Enclablosa has now entered the world, the age of this... Okay. The Age of Darkness has begun. And the beings of the Age of Light are now desperately trying to fight back and hopefully start the Age of Light again. But, first of all... Regnier must save Gerald because he needs him. Or he says, he need, I need that human, as he would say. <clears throat> yeah. So I solved this mission by sending my slow mammoth straight on a path towards Gerald. To help him with the uh, ankle bolts that he's fighting. Now he has his own health bar and... He is quite durable, but you don't want to waste time. So I just take out these enemies in the center that come at me, and just do my best not to, uh, not to lose too many units. And I also try to keep my archers out of melee. Riders getting down and dirty. Yeah, I never really pay attention to what these guys say, but anyway, yeah. Um, you may want to use Ragnar's Berserk mode during this part because they're so. Because I believe there's more Ankas in a unit than you have infantry in yours. There's more Ankas per unit, so they all get clumped together more easily, if you would notice in during Kennel's campaign. So, yeah. Also, I do have Berserk Mode on right now. You just don't see the fire because there's probably so much stuff going on. I mean, you see them when they get hit, they get turned on fire, but you don't really see the effect because I'm probably because there's just so much stuff going on at the same time. But now I'm heavier. Heavier, uh. Have your riders, have your riders, waypoint charge. That is a good way to get SP and a good way to deal damage to your enemy, to the enemy. And also, there's no anchor flyers, so your small mammoth will be pretty much indestructible. Yeah, he's pretty much indestructible. Nothing can really hurt him. And I'm sending him to walk all over 
in the fight that Gerald is having with uh, Ankles. Ankles. Just getting some good damage. To the Ankles, not Gerald. I don't think it'll hurt. No, it doesn't hurt. Always keep your warp riders waypoint point charging during this mission. Never have them stand still. Always keep it moving. Now there's going to be a point where there's going to be like a big melee ball and you won't be able to see what's going on and... Well, you'll see. You'll see what happens. But yeah, these Angas are not really that much of a threat even though they are higher level than me. The, yeah, even though they're like one to like ten levels higher than me, they still aren't doing all that much damage because I've upgraded my units so well. And those anchor units are now finished, and we can now head to Gerald. I'm going straight to Gerald. Can't afford to uh, waste any more time. Cast Enraged to heal myself real quick. And I'm gonna cast a healing tree on Gerald since he can regenerate health. I need to get there very quickly. Gerald replies us to you. Hmm. Oh well. So yeah, you want to get them down back to the south. You have to fight your way all the way back down to the south end. Which is easier said than done, by the way. I don't even see Gerald's unit in here anywhere. I think she actually I think he'll retreat. Uh, Gerald's unit will try and stay out of combat and he'll just let you do the fighting. And he'll follow Regnier's unit. And only Regnier's unit. So if you want to move, you'll have to move Regnier. Yeah, just... Yeah. Also, if you happen to find an Enka leader... Yeah, take him out. Take him out very quickly. It'll save you a lot of trouble in the end. I'm basically just keeping my small mammoth busy, having them attack, get some damage, get some good damage on those units. And this is where the melee ball is happening. This is what I'm talking about right here, where you're surrounded. And you have no choice but to, like, fight. So, here we go. Melee ball, my archers. And, and for some reason, it takes my eyes just a really long time to get out of melee. I mean, a really long time. A frustratingly long time, actually. I just move so slow. They move too slow, actually. Anyway... It's a good. It's right now. It's a good time to have your cavalry charge through that melee ball to get in some good damage and a lot of SP. Actually, it'd be a good time to go berserk actually right now. But I can't because I'm busy trying to get my archers out of melee. In they're clearly out of melee, but they're not. They're clearly out of melee. But I still can't cast stuff. Maybe because the battle's too big. They're too scared. But then finally it happens. Just as I'm starting to get just as I'm starting to die, I finally am able to cast a healing spell on them. Get a healing spell on right near, which took a damn long time. And you'll see <laughs> You see uh saw that it's foot just stomping on everybody. Just look at this. I can't actually see what's going on here. This is crazy.
I don't even see the swamp happening unit anywhere. But it's there. Yeah, so things are so epic that I decided to cast Meteor. So I'll be able to get that SP back very quickly. I think it's a combination of the forest and this number of units on screen. This frame rate is dropping. Unsurprise is holding up this well, though. Oh, there's the, there's the Swamp Mammoth. Boy, this is crazy. Even though they're all near death, there's still a whole lot of them left. I wish these Elf Warriors had Focus Shot, and that way I could take these guys out quickly. But they don't. Oh well. But yeah, this is also a good opportunity to gain F F uh, SP, um, XP and gold. You can only gain a maximum of 7,000, but you can go near the edge to near the uh, near the X point, and you can actually kill Enkai units. They they keep coming, and you can kill them for as long as you need. But keep in mind that they'll only that there's a limit to how much SP, XP, and gold you can earn, which is 7,000. So if you want to do some grinding, this would be the mission to do it. I don't do it though because I don't need it. Boom. Excuse me. And we're almost done with this mission. Sweet. Anyway, yeah, I go to the edge. The mission ends with Ragnar and Reg Ragnar and Gerald are in the red zone. Riders, but where's Jill's unit? It'll take us. Good thing you don't have to wait for all units to get there because it'll take ages for the swamp hours to get here. So, yeah. Go in the red zone. And your mission will be complete. Just waiting for Gerald. Come on, Slowpoke. Yeah, this mission's pretty much done now. Okay, come on, Gerald. Get in more. I hate that. I really do. But uh, anyway, this is D35. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. We have Gerald. What will you do with him? We'll take him with us to Kanashir. Lord Rainier, ever since that thing appeared, you seem somehow different. Is it perhaps because the ancient heart has been destroyed? What will happen to you now? I will slowly become mortal and someday die. But I don't know how long it will take. Mortal. That's terrible. I will be gone long before that ever happens. You said you would help me. Are you still willing? Without hesitation, my lord. I want to return the world to the Age of Light. How will our force ever face that abomination? It is for that purpose I need the human, Gerald. So, we must rely on a human, 
Don't live only inside the curtain? No. The curtain is a shield of sorts against the light of the sun. During the day, they require the curtain's protection. But at night, they can come out of the curtain and roam freely. I'll be in the operations room. Bring Gerald to me. Yes, my lord. You bastard, I'll kill you. I need you to do something. I'll destroy you. I have heard it said that a reasonable man takes pride in repaying another person's kindness. Obviously, you aren't that kind of man. You insolent ape! You should be on your knees, thanking my lord for rescuing your worthless carcass. Why did you help us? All right. I'll try to reason with you, Half-Elf. I saved you because the humans destroyed the Ancient Heart, and the Age of Darkness has begun. If we don't banish Inkoblosa, the Age of Light will be no more. How do we fit in? I know a way to send Inkoblosa back. We must destroy the Ancient Heart of Inkoblosa. But it can't be done with just a few of us. Wait. What? Or who is Ankoblosa? The world repeats the ages of light and darkness. The master of the age of light is Nihil, and the master of the age of darkness is Ankoblosa. And the ancient hearts are the hearts of Nihil and Ankoblosa. We all live here, now, in the age of light. But because the humans destroyed Nihil's ancient heart, he has gone into Torpor, and Ankoblosa has awakened. Ankoblosa will plunge the world into the Age of Darkness. It will absorb all living things and transform them into creatures that are suited for the Age of Darkness. That dark curtain will expand to cover the entire world. The new creatures of darkness will fill the world, and a new cycle of evolutionary life will begin. How do you know all this? I am the inheritor of the power of the Ancient Heart. I am Rick Blood. Impossible. The truth is not predicated on your belief. Here is another truth. There is only one way to destroy Ingolosa. Bring the Ecclesian Bataloon and summon her mages here. Meanwhile, we will summon a Bone Dragon. You can't be serious. The Dark Curtain is expanding as we speak. Ecclesia will be their first target, and shortly after, this place will be doomed as well. We will head to the Dragon Tomb to prepare our side of the plan. Tell Ecclesia of my offer. Make them understand. Lord Rainier, will you actually fight alongside them? Would you rather sit here than wait for darkness and death? That's the only other option. Ever since Enkablosa awoke, you've changed. The most powerful change of all. I am free. Lord Rainier, send me to Ecclesia. Although I cannot guarantee their acceptance, I'll try to persuade them. Good. Dinard will escort you. All right. Thank you. Dinard. Escort them safely to Ecclesia, and return swiftly. Yes, my lord. A human destroyed the ancient heart. To be honest, it was quite unexpected. I will certainly make a tasty snack for the orcs once I become a mortal man. They would have to come through me, my lord. Faithful Lineart. I cannot be here once I become a mere human. No, I suppose not. But can we trust the humans? A desperate human is a loyal human. What about our end? 
Will we be able to summon a bone dragon from the dragon tomb? Veland has tried and failed. Liches do not lie. We shall wait and see.